the project as big as this, sending 50 students down south in Mindanao for six weeks before a G-Corp, it happens only in our dreams. The, the funding allowed us to incarnate that, to make that, make that into a reality. Because these people that we sent there are going to be the future leaders of the church. Our seminarians are pastors in the churches, and they are also leaders in our community. So for them to be interculturally competent is all already a great contribution in the development of society. We are responding to the need of the community that we are relevant. So this project, therefore, is very important. I have discovered many things about myself. It is very hard to be a pastor and you, you are just holding your own truth. But this encounter and engagement, I have learned so much from others. There are so many others that most of the time we are afraid of. And we need to be just friends with them, share their struggles, share their fears, share their hopes. You immerse and you re-emerge a different creation in Jesus Christ. This conversation with the with the other uh, the Lumads, the the Muslims, and other uh, denominations or religions will actually help you to understand where where I, where they are coming from and how will you respect them despite of your differences. Our cultural competency is very important, no? uh, particularly to us uh, ministers, or particularly to me, who are actually uh, involved in 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 doing in doing this ministry. The church needs to be dynamic. The church needs to be relevant. The church needs to be in constant conversation with the rest of humanity. I've learned to respect. People. I am thankful for this uh, grant. Uh, it actually transformed me.